my name is Arvid, um, and I work at Blockstream, and we do cryptocurrency stuff. Uh, I want to talk about test coverage real quick. So test coverage is when you run your tests under with the code coverage instrumentation. Uh, you merge the, the coverage from all your tests, and then you calculate the ratio of Ex totally uh, total lines executed or the actual total lines and then you know the higher number the better uh, so I want to uh, talk about having this ratio be honest and not just the highest number so the things you want to remove uh, right off the bat is all of the test code that doesn't count remove test framework all the helper code you have mocks and so on um, so to, to run, to, to build a uh, test coverage, you say something like this, dash dash coverage, I haven't actually tested this, this did not work. Uh, you run the test, lcov, gen html, you get some kind of report. Um, there's also another really cool tool I want to mention called kcov. Uh, it lets you gather uh, code coverage without actually instrumenting the build. So all you need is debug information. And the guy who wrote this uh, actually uh, had a presentation recently, just Google Sweden CDP, KCOV, and you'll find it, and also other great talks from Sweden CDP. All right, let's take a look at uh, an example test. So this is what they look like, right? What's notable here? Um, so we create a bar and a baz object to, just to pass in to foo, and then we validate that foo does what we want it to do. Other notable thing, things are that uh, we use eastconst, <laughs> so then you get the test coverage that looks something like this: the constructor for bar, the constructor for buzz, and the, the function body of foo. Uh, perhaps foo does other things to bar and buzz, so you might have something like this. Some of the functions on bar and buzz also gets executed. Uh, since uh, since foo is the only function that actually is uh, being tested, only the output from foo uh, is actually validated by the test, uh, I uh, would refer to all of this other coverage as collateral coverage. It's not being tested. It shouldn't count. That's the only function that's under test. So when you're merging all of your test coverage, you should carve out just the functions that you test and, and merge those. Then you get the much more honest representation of your coverage. If you want to uh, have test coverage of bar and buzz and those functions, you need to write sp specific unit tests for those functions. That's all I have to say. Thank you.